Welcome to the ELT 3000 series programming module. Required equipment. You will need a programmer, part number A3-06-2824, a programming cable, part number A2-07-0270, and an ELT 3000 or 3000 PA for programming. Before we begin, you will come across the following terms. 24-bit address, which can be broken down further into octal address and hex address, cost pass star set number, or TAC, and aircraft operator. Let's detail what these are and their correct use. ICAO 24-bit address and aircraft operator. ICAO 24-bit address. All aircraft equipped with a MODESH transponder is issued an ICAO 24-bit address code. This can be either an octal address or hex address. They are one and the same, but displayed differently. Meaning, if you have an octal address, you can convert it into a hex address, and vice versa. Octal address. Eight digits, numeric only, consisting of zero through sevens. Hex address. Six digits, alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Aircraft operator. The aircraft operator is a three-digit code issued to the airlines. This option is only to be used if the customer requests it and can provide a three-digit code and a four-digit serial number. This is not to be confused with the ELT serial number. Cost pass star set number, or TAC. Every model of ELT is issued a cost pass star set number. This is also known as a type approval certificate, or TAC. However, each TAC has a limited amount of serial numbers permissible. Once that limit is reached, an additional TAC number must be issued. This can be identified on the ELT by viewing the serial number. You will see that the serial number is eight digits with a dash in the middle. The TAC number will be the three digits before the dash. Currently, the TAC number for the ELT 3000 series is 272. For more information, please visit the CostPass SARSAT website. Programming the ELT 3000 series ELT. From the home screen, select the following. Artex, Program, ELT 3000. Select a protocol from the list. All the available protocols do not fit on one screen. Select the up or down arrow for additional protocols. Note, serial user, aircraft 24-bit, national USA short, and serial user, aircraft 24-bit, national short are obsolete and should not be used. Setting the nav and PA options. From the program screen, select the following. Options, get options. The option screens will have the following. 121.5 and 243. This option is locked. Serial nav data, RS-232, AVI out, 9600 baud. Programming adapter, airing speed high or low speed. Note, if the programmer cannot communicate with ELT, failed to read options will appear. Setting the nav and PA options continued. 121.5 and 243 megahertz cannot be unchecked. Serial nav data. Enable this option if using RS-232 aviation out at 9600 baud. If enabled, airing speed is overridden and can be ignored. Programming adapter. Enable if a PA is installed on the aircraft. Disable if no PA is present. If this is enabled and the aircraft does not have a PA, an error code will be present. Airing speed. Switch between high and low speed. Be sure that serial nav data is disabled. After completion, select set and then return. Very important note. Options must always be used when programming the ELT 3000 or 3000 PA. If the ELT 3000 or 3000 PA is programmed short message, serial nav data and airing speed can be ignored. However, the PA must be either enabled or disabled. Remember, if the programming adapter is enabled and the aircraft does not have a programming adapter, an error code will be present upon installation. This will result in a customer return. There is nothing the customer can do in the aircraft installation to remedy the issue. Programming the ELT 3000 PA. From the home screen, select the following. Artex, Program, ELT 3000 PA. The Artex programming adapter, or PA, 
is an optional accessory that will automatically reprogram an ELT-3000 when installed on the aircraft. Note, no protocol that uses the ELT serial number may be used for the programming adapter. The procedure for programming PAs is the same as the ELT, except for ELT-3000 PA. Aviation user, town number short. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select done when complete. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user aircraft 24 bit address short. Tap here to select between octo and hex. Octal address, A digits, number 0 through 7, and hex address, 6 digits, alphanumeric, 0 through 9, and A through F. Input the octo slash hex address using the keyboard. Input the 3 digit tag number using the keyboard. Additional ELT. If the aircraft is equipped with one ELT, this will remain at zero. If the aircraft has additional ELTs, as such as those found in life rafts, this can be changed between one and three. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user ELT cost pass short. Tap to select the country code. Insert the 5 digit serial number using the keyboard. Insert cost pass sarset number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user aircraft operator short. Tap to select country code. Insert the 3 digit operator number using keyboard. Insert cost pass sarset number using keyboard. Insert four digit serial number provided by the customer using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user aircraft 24 bit address location. Tap here to select between octal and hex. Octal address is eight digits, number zero through seven, and hex address is six digits, alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Input the octal hex address using the keyboard. Input the three digit tag number using the keyboard. If the aircraft is equipped with one ELT, the additional ELT will remain at zero. <coughs> if the aircraft has additional ELTs, this number can be changed between one and three. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user ELT cost pass location long. Tap to select a country code. Insert the five digit serial number using keyboard. Insert cost pass SARSA number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user aircraft operator location long. Tap to select a country code. Insert three digit operator number using keyboard. Insert cost pass SARSET number using keyboard. Insert the four digit serial number provided by the customer using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Aviation user, town number location long. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select done when complete. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Standard location, aircraft 24-bit address long. 
tap here to select between octal and hex. Octal address is eight digits, number zero through seven, and hex address is six digits, alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Standard location, ELT serial long. Tap to select country code. Insert five digit serial number using keyboard. Insert cost by starset number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. National location ELT serial long. This protocol is only available with customers with an aircraft fleet. This is not the ELT serial number, but a customer provides serial number ranging from 00001 to 262143. Tap to select the country code. Insert the serial number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Testing ELT 3000 using the SARCALC software. After successfully programming the ELT, verify programming by using SARCALC. Select the following. SARCALC, then measure. On this screen, connect a BNC to BNC cable from the ELT directly to the programmer. No attenuator is required. Initiate a self-test by holding the ELT local switch to the test position until a red flash is present. Once a red flash is present, release the switch. A report will be generated that will match the option you programmed. You may also access the SARCALC software from the home screen. Once open, you will find the following. Measure, follow the steps detailed previously. Review, you can review the previous 100 tests. Preferences, you can also change the amount of tests stored. You will also choose either octal or hex address to be displayed when testing 24-bit address. Thank you for watching.